Hello guys, uh, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how we can create a um, 3D character uh, in Adobe Fuse. Beauty of Adobe Fuse is that we don't need to create anything from scratch. Everything I can I can say uh, is a pre-made already. So um, today example we will create um, a zombie character. Uh, first of all, I will click on a zombie head. And as you can see, I don't need to do anything else. It's already um, made, uh, pre-made. And another beauty of uh, Adobe Fuse is that if we will choose um, any um, character's head, his um, another part of a character's body automatically jumping in the first row. So right now I need to click uh, on a zombie torso. And after that, I will click on uh, zombie legs. And I, as you can see, everything in the um, first row. So I don't need to scroll and choose a specific, um, um, any parts of um, character body specifically for uh, my character. Click on a zombie leg. And now I will click on zombie uh, hand and voila my zombie character is ready what i need to do right now i would like to customize my zombie uh, because it's zombie he has nothing to eat i would like to make him um his body more uh, skinnier so i will click on customize button menu and from our uh, customize menu i will click on torso here um you can play with any um and each slider to see what you like most because it's um, personal it depends of your uh, preferences and depends of your project just like that he needs definitely to be much much skinnier midsection skinnier and now I will click on um, his uh, legs legs supposed to be more skinny as well just like that i don't need to uh, make uh, his leg shorter or uh, longer just like that and now i will click on his arms and i need to make his biceps smaller Just like that. Have fun, guys. And now, when I, I'm happy with his body uh, structure, I will jump to a texture uh, menu and I would like to change, um, modify colors of his um, body. So I will click on character's um, body and I will click on skin. Here, uh, I will click again on skin color and here I can apply any color I want to. Uh, I just want to make him more uh, darker. Just like that. I don't want to uh, make him green. If I want, I can make him green or um, <laughs> yellow or I don't know, orange, red, uh, purple even blue <laughs> so kind of like that click ok and uh, now i can uh move sliders again guys um play with sliders uh try different um setting to see what you like most just like that i like that just maybe i will bring this slider um, I'm, I'm trying to adjust a white point I like this and now I will jump to closing menu from here I can choose any um, closing I want to apply to my character and I will start with this blazer now I will uh, apply uh, pens just like that and probably hat he needs to be kind of cute <laughs> now 
Again, I'm jumping to my texture menu and I would like to change color of his hat. Main fabric, clean, uh, click on it and from here you can choose any color you want to. Just like that. And I would like to change also his blazer color. This is main color, just darker. Click OK. Pattern color, just like that. Have fun, guys. Play uh, with the settings. See what you like the most. And now I would like to change a color of his pocket. So I'm. Um, I click on um, pocket menu and here again I can uh, customize, uh, choose any color I want to, just like that. And believe or not guys, we are created our uh, character. Uh, we spend about six minutes and our character is ready. What I can do right now, I can save my um, character um, to Creative Cloud a library because I'm Creative Cloud subscriber and I'm very, very happy about that. And I can apply any um, animation to my character directly from uh, Photoshop CC or I can save my uh, character um, to Maxima and apply um, any um, animation in Maxima. Thank you guys. And I will see you later. Bye.